You know? Yeah. I, I, I just, uh, but this is a good move for the Giants. And what a difference 24 hours makes for Farhan Zaidi. Even if he didn't make this move happen, at least now we say, you know what, Farhan? You showed us something. That's a start. That's a start. You can stay for a little while longer. Let's go to Adam in San Francisco. Adam, what's happening? Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Uh, Alan, welcome to the, to the morning show. I've heard you on the show a couple times. And I'm uh, Boss, you know I love you, too, and everything. Freaking Alan, you just got a radio voice. So I, <laughs> I just got to give you some props. You, you need to get on more often. Anyway, Appreciate you. Uh, of course. Um, it's crazy what 24 hours can do. I, I won't lie to you. After the judge news, I, I waited that morning. I hold, and you guys connected me, and then I lost connection. I was bummed, and I wanted to go on the rant of all rants, like, like, why on earth would I pay $30 for a crab sandwich, you know, $20 for a beer, $40 for nosebleeds just to watch no one out here in the ballpark? Like, why is I, am a, as a fan, going to pay to see nothing now? Stuff just got really interesting. Uh, we have, you know, the Giants have a star again. Like, it's something to build around kind of what you guys were talking about with Machado. And it's like, I need to apologize to Farhan just to like, all right, you, you finally made the move. You made a move. And I don't think they're done. I think this now where you add in all the signings you've done now so far with pitching with Hanager, everything like that. It's like, okay, like you got something building, but like, like you said, we, we do need more. Um, but my attitude, at least from one fan here in the Bay area has, has significantly changed. Good call, Adam. Good call. What about you, Derek? Derek in San Jose. Derek, you're on the roast. Hey, fellas, thanks for taking my call. Look, y'all, I, you were just talking a minute ago, Will Crawford moved to second base? No shot. He's standing short for the last year of his contract. Correa, for all the cheating talk, will respect Crawford as the lifelong giant. Let him play out the last year. Then we'll see what happens. He's got another 12 years here in the Bay. As for second base, you talked about J.D. Davis. No thanks. It's Tyro Estrada's job. You talked about platooning. Tyro Estrada's not a platoon guy. He started 139 games last year. 107 of them at second base. Hit 260. 15 home runs. 20-plus doubles. That's exactly the kind of production I need out of an everyday second baseman. Now, is he a two-hitter? No. Like Bonte said, you're going to always be talking about he's a six or not quite seven, ideally eight-hitter on a playoff lineup. Right. But Correa is third, Crawford is short, Tyro at second. We'll figure out first base later. Thanks it's, for taking my call, fellas. It's not bad, no doubt, no doubt. 888-957-9570. Does your perspective of Farhan Zaidi change with this signing? Does your perspective... Of the Giants change with this signing. 13 years, $350 million. The Giants have finally entered the offseason after striking out and ended up with Mitch Hanniger. And look, Mitch Hanniger's a fine player. Played mm-hmm. 57 games last year, but it wasn't enough. No. It wasn't going to get it done. You go sign Sean Manaya. We all watched him get rocked by the Dodgers last year. It wasn't enough. You go sign Ross Stripling. Oh, yawn. You know, it's a yawn. Yeah. Did you go get Carlos Correa? Okay. I'm getting up out the bed. Now I'm saying 645 first pitch. Let me turn the TV on and see what's going on at Oracle Park. Because you signed Carlos Correa. By the way, shout out to Jeff Rail. Uh, Jeff Rail out there in Paris watching us on YouTube. All the way in Paris. Alan, we're I, international. We're worldwide. We're worldwide, worldwide, baby. Someone called Pitbull. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. You know, Bonte, for all the talk about, oh, Farhan, he, he, this, this, for everybody who's not happy about this signing, I want you to, Again, this is the second time we're having people close our eyes. I guess I'm into meditation now, Bonte. I'll meditate. My girl meditates every night. Let me meditate now. Dodger Stadium. Mm. Carlos Correa comes up to bat. Mm. He's getting booed like nobody's business. Mm. First pitch off Kershaw. Ding dong Donkey Kong. Does anybody care anymore about the 13 years when that happens? Nobody cares. Does anybody care about the 350 mil when that happens? Uh. No. You will be cheer. Does anybody care about the cheating when that happens? No. You will be cheering with all the rest of the Giants fans. Think about that. That's all that matters right now, Bonte. That's all that matters. I'm thinking about Ding Dong Donkey Kong right now. I love that. <laughs> Alex dropping some gems this morning. Ding Dong Donkey Kong. You could be red or blue, but everybody is green. That is. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I got to open my eyes again. It almost felt good to close my eyes. Um, <laughs> I, I was imagining 
Carlos Correa in that all gray San Francisco get up mm-hmm. at Dodger Stadium, pipping a home run, bat flipping, throwing a bat 50 feet in the air, walking down the first base line. I want all that smoke. And doing the shush. And doing the shush. Doing the shush. Oh my gosh. I want all the smoke. Carlos Correa wants all the smoke. Mm-hmm. That's what type of player I roll with. He wants to smoke. He wants the attention. He wants the spotlight. He wants to be up in the batter's box in the big moment. Bo- big moment. This guy's a player. Now, is he an Aaron Judge? He's been better than Aaron Judge in the postseason. That's for damn sure. That's Sam Lubman, hey, producer Sam Lubman, we'll get back to the calls in a second. Lubman, I asked Lubman last night. So, who'd you rather give the money to, Judge or Correa? Because, yeah, rather give it to Judge. He came in here six six twenty five. You know what? I changed my mind. I want Correa. This is the guy. So he's in. Spinotti's laughing. But Lubman's in. Lubman, how happy are you right now? I'm like really, really happy today, Bonte. How's your, is your dad happy too? I actually haven't texted him yet. I got to give him a call and oh, see I'm how shocked. he's doing. He was probably asleep when the news came through. So no, I got actually got to check in on dad, see what he's thinking right now. But he's probably amped up too. And I got to make sure he uh, renewed the season tickets for next year. Damn. Damn. Damn, look I, at Lubbin. I mean, we were going to renew them regardless, but this no, makes it a wasn't. lot easier. No, you're lying. No, you were, he, you were he very good to bad boys. We hardcore going every day. Well, Lubbin he, got the media credential. He hasn't paid for tickets since. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that too. But yeah. no, my, my dad, he, he likes it when, uh, he doesn't like it when they're bad, but like when the Giants are bad, he enjoys the the very short bathroom line. So that's why he still goes when, wow. when times are down. Is it we are doing the season tickets or is it my dad that's doing the season tickets? My dad is doing the season tickets and then he will uh, throw me a bone every now and then. Thank you. Yeah. That's true. They are my dad's season tickets. He will appreciate that I'm saying that. <laughs> Let him rock, Spadoni. A yeah, little flex, put him man. On, put him on little blast flex. like that. Yeah, hey, what you doing, man? <laughs> no, no. He, he, brings up a, he brings up a good point. You know, I got to give credit where it's due. That dad has the tickets, and then I get to tag along. Dude, so as no, a I father give... of two, Bonte, and your father of one, come on. We need our respect, all right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Spadoni turned it into San Francesco. I was just throwing them under the bus. Yeah. Man, what's going on around these parts? Let's get to film on Mike. Film on Mike in the city. We're just talking about film on Mike. We were. Yeah. Film on Mike. What's happening? Hey, man. I'm feeling good. I'm happy for Farhan. Um, I'm glad he, he finally got to, you know, wrangle in a big boy. I'm happy for the Giants. We got some swag. We got a youngster. We got more athletic. So we checked off a lot of boxes. No doubt. Watching the um, Watching the doc. From uh, Willie Mays, mm-hmm. the Giants was the leaders of getting international players, players from, you know, the Dominican Republic, mm-hmm. African Americans. So I, I'm happy to see some color to keep it real. I, nothing against, you know, the white baseball players or nothing like that, but I'm happy to see some color on the, uh, uh, you know, within the organization. Nothing against Crawford, Posey, Lincecum, all the great. White American baseball players, but I, I'm happy that we got some color. You know what I'm saying? Even if he's not African American, black, or you know whatever. But anyway, I'm happy as hell. I think Farhan did a good job, and if you look like overall, he's putting together, piecing together a good team. It's not I bad. Would have got Josh Bell. Not bad at all. He's putting together a good team. We got six starters potentially. I like what he's doing. I, I like the direction after this signing. Before this signing, completely disappointed. After this signing, it's a whole new day. Oh, film on Mike. Dropping some bars right there. It is a whole new day. What a difference 24 hours makes. I was so down on Farhan. He had to go. Yesterday, he had to go. It was the I, same I, time, you yeah. know, the same amount of time that he was with, with the Dodgers. Right. And, and for how, you know, how much everybody said, oh, my goodness, look at what he did. Look what he did there. He was, he's been with the Giants the same amount of time. Right. And we were not seeing the same, same, same results, div- the same results yep. at all. And he just, this can change, this can change right. your arc, Bonte. This can change your arc. And, and Farhan, if you continue to do these things, people are going to start to rock with you. Now you got to go out and win games. But, right. you know, Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, exactly. And if you miss out on Judge and you miss out on Correa, uh, you know, the, Xander Bogot's already gone. Right. Dansby Swanson, who knows what was going to happen there. Right. He might want to stay back east. You had to get it done. You had to get this done. Mm-hmm. You had to get it done. And 24 hours later, after a lot of us wanted Farhan out, I wouldn't have lost sleep. I think he got fired before spree trading. Now, that wasn't going to happen. He was going to get the year. But I was so down on Farhan. I didn't want to hear anything about him. 
I didn't. I really didn't. Now, you know what? Whether or not he was involved, mm-hmm. I know Bob Myers joined uh, the midday show last week with Guru. Last week he was talking about, hey, you know, the GM gets too much credit. The GM gets criticized too much. Because Bob was talking about Farhan missing right. out on Aaron Judge or whatnot. Farhan may get too much credit here. But you know what? You build equity when the big boy comes in. 13 years, $350 million, you get a guy like that who could you place right in the middle of the lineup. Second, third, fourth. You know Correa's going to hit. He's going to have power. He's going to be a presence uh, in that batter's box. You get a hand clap. Right. You get credit for that. Well, when everybody was sitting there, you know, saying, why did, Why are we missing out here? Why are we doing this? I didn't hear Larry Bear's name. You know? Nope. I heard Farhan's name the whole time. So, now, conversely, he's going to have to get this credit. And, again, you don't go to the movies and comp- – maybe you do. You do, but you know. You don't go to the movies and complain about right. the price of the popcorn. It's gonna, you know it's going to be about six bucks You know it's going to hit you. It's going to hit you hard. You know it's going to hit you. You budget for that. You budget for that. And that's what the Giants did. Yep. You don't go to Disneyland and complain about how expensive the turkey leg is that your nah, kid wants. No. Nah. You budgeted for you that. Just swipe that credit card, baby. Exactly. And you keep it moving. Keep it moving. And now I want to see the Giants continue to swipe that credit card. It's a big boy market. The Warriors are swiping a credit card left and right. They don't care how much tax they're paying right now. Joe Lakers paying tax out. Jet York, John Lynch, they put the picks. Kyle Shanahan, they put the picks on the table for Christopher McCaffrey. Said, we don't give a damn about the picks. Just give us Christian McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, my God, you gave up a second, third, fourth, and a future fifth-round pick. Does anybody care about those draft picks now? Yeah. Ty Davis Price. <laughs> well, where's he at? Third round pick. We don't care. We keep whiffing on him. We right. keep whiffing on these picks right. anyway. So right. I guess we Minus, go get, a, <laughs> just get, get a established home run hitter. Right. right. And you know what? Has anybody brought those picks in the last three weeks when it comes to Christian McCaffrey? No. Nah, what we're bringing up is the 14 carries for 119 yards for 8.5 yards a rush. That's what we care about. Mm-hmm. We do not care about the picks. If Correa hits 25 to 30 jacks and he drives in 80 to 100 RBIs and he bats 280, guess what? We're not going to bring up the 13-year, $350 million contract. No. We're going to say we got a guy. And all of a sudden, your future daughter mm-hmm. can go get a Correa jersey. You can put her in a Correa onesie. There you go. I go put baby Chaz in a Correa jersey. All of a sudden, Sad Love is like, you know what? I don't have to make a custom jersey no more. I go get me a jersey <laughs> for a guy who's going to be on the field for 13 years. Carlos Correa. He might still make a, a custom jersey just because, though. Yeah, that's Sad Love, man. <laughs> That's what Shasky's love it does. They, they make custom jerseys with you their know? names on it. They're part of the team. Steve Santa Rosa. Steve, what's happening? Welcome, Carlos Correa, to San Francisco Giants, a bona fide, bona fide big star. This guy is a great addition. Mm-hmm. He's a winner. Mm-hmm. He's clutch all the time. I don't care about the numbers. And the stats, when the money's on the line, he comes through every time. No doubt. A great player. I'm really jacked about this. Now, please, get rid of that dead weight on first base, and we'll really be going somewhere. That's all I got to say. I know he's never hit 30 home runs in the season, Carlos Correa. Career high, 26 home runs. 92 RBIs in 2021 in his last season with the Astros. He was the rookie of the year. 2016, 20 homers, 96 RBI, bat at 274. Look, he's not the perfect player. He's not a five tool player. He doesn't, doesn't have the speed to steal bases left and right. He's not slow, though. He's not slow. He can run the base pass well. He'll go, he'll go first to third and second to home. Mm-hmm. No doubt. He's had some injuries. He's got an injury history. We read it off in the first hour. We read it again. You know, 2021, he played 148 games. That's the second highest total of his career. Is it concerning that that happened in the contract here? No doubt. There is. The strike shortened season. He wasn't good. OPS, on-base percentage, 709. Not good, right? He had a thumb injury um, back in 2018. Not good. He's had injuries left and right. Okay, I get it. I get it. But you had to do something. You had to do something here. And this guy was the best available player on the market, and the Giants snagged him. Yeah. And they haven't snagged a lot of these guys lately. No. And I don't know if it was particularly close at this point. No. With with Aaron Judge off the 
off the market, and be, I don't know if you, you know, between Xander Bogarts and Carlos Correa, but Xander Bogarts also getting taken off. This was the guy everybody was looking at. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, you're picking between Minnesota and the Bay Area. Yeah, and it's an easy call, right? It, it's kind of an easy call. Right. You know, they got the great Mall of America out there, <laughs> but, you know, I think I would go Bay Area yeah, as well. I mean, ball or Bay Area? Exactly. Ball or Red Wine and Napa? And look, even though we might not believe in what happened in the 107 wins, that's still something that you can put on the table mm-hmm. and say, hey, just two years ago, we set a franchise record. So you can never count us out in any situation. Right. We add you to this, mm-hmm. somebody that's going to be a staple. We, you know, we're, we're getting some other guys in. You already seen right. us making moves. So we have an opportunity. And by the way, sure, the Padres are stacked. I have heard, Bonte, I got some sources that are telling me that there is a team targeting Tatis, by the way. That would be the New York Yankees. Via so, trade? Via trade. They are, they are interested. The The Padres are playing positionist baseball out there. They got a bunch of shortstops right. they don't know what to do with. They would, that would be a mistake to get rid of Tatis. Well, they just got Xander Bogart, so yeah. I, they're trying to fit. And they still got Manny, so I don't know if you got Xander at second. and ta, you put I guess Tatis, Tatis has been doing outfield, outfield, outfield. outfield work. Yeah. So they're making moves. But the Dodgers, if you're if you're pitching this to Correa, you know the Padres, they are always making moves, but right. they've never actually done anything. Okay, they we we don't know if they're ever going to actually do anything. Then you go to the the Dodgers, who all they've done this season is lose Trey Turner. All they've done is essentially gotten worse. Mm-hmm. So we have an opportunity here, and we want you to lead the way, Carlos Correa. No doubt, and he's a great he's a leader. Scott Swagger, this is a good move, very good move. I'm laughing at the text line. 408, extended mobile text line. Vontae, you're turning into a professional backpedaler. Going to be a Pro Bowl DB by the end of the year between Jimmy and Farhan. I'm not a but Farhan hasn't done. It's, it's got more work to do. Mm-hmm. The verdict is still out on Farhan's ID. You get credit for a move like this. But we're still looking at Marco Luciano. What is he going to do? What is Kyle Harrison going to do? What's the catcher's name? Bailey? Or no, Philip, I always get his name. Patrick Ooh. Bailey? Patrick Bailey, Patrick yeah. Bailey. Hunter Bishop. All right? We're still looking at you, Farhan. You're not off the hook. But you can stay for a little while longer. Got no problem with that. By the way, it's a Warriors Wednesday brought to you by SFO. Go to, go to flysfo.com slash holidays for your chance to win $1,000 towards a nonstop flight from SFO today. Warriors Wednesday as the Warriors lose to the Milwaukee Bucks. We'll get back into them. God, what a duck. Do we place. have to? I have just, they just got <laughs> punk, dude. I, I just. They got deboed. And then today, who who the hell's going to play today? Anthony the Gumpo. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny Gumpo didn't even play great. He was 9 26. He still dropped 30 and 12 on your ass. He still beat you up, though, even when he's not I playing mean, great. There was one possession. Anthony Lamb was guarding him. And he got down so low. And Giannis said, give me the ball. And he just one dribble, two dribble, spin move, finger roll. I mean, it was just like. He was trying. This kid off of me. Yeah. I mean, I made a joke in the chat and no one responded to it. I was like, he's getting cooked so hard by Giannis. Call him Anthony Euro, right? Like a Euro, oh, gyro. Yeah. You know? That was, that was right? good. No one responded. So I got to, you know, toot my own horn. I was, yeah. locked, I was locked into a television. Oh, was, you know. Yeah, I didn't see that one come Thanks, through. Tips. Yeah, I didn't, uh, yeah, Our I didn't, Wi-Fi must have been off. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Gabe in Oregon. Gabe, what's happening? You're on the roast. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Good, man. I can't complain. Oh yeah, well, I mean, who who can today? Look, um, Korea. No, look, he's he's a great player to have. He's definitely a start. Um, I don't think we should stop. I think we definitely need to. If you ask me, I think we should just go after Rodon. Uh, just step on the Yankees' toes like that. Uh, I know they want him. Hey. I, de- I think we want him more. I wanted to say one thing to you, Monte, about Swagger. Mm-hmm. Johnny Cueto had Swagger. He did have Swagger. He, he did. He did. He did. He was one person you missed out. And we I loved it. He did. Hey, hey. And, and we loved that one, Gabe. We loved it. Go ahead, Gabe. Finish the call. But you, you're right. Cueto did have swag. Uh huh. Oh yeah, but you know what? Look, uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself, and uh, I'll end it right now. I I really do believe this is probably. Uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself, like I said, but I think this is the beginning of the end for the Dodgers uh, and their dominance. Like, who who have they gotten so far? It's all it's only Jason Hayward that they got. Minor league deal, I believe. 
Yeah, minor league Dale. They lost Cody Bellinger. They lost Trey Turner. Boy. Still Walker, got Kershaw, Bu- and Walker Bueller's going to be out, right? Yeah, Walker Bueller is not going to be there at the start. So this is an opportunity, man. This and is. look, they, they keep on trotting out. Obviously, they got Mookie, but they keep on trotting out you know, some of these guys. And Max Muncy, down year as well. So this could be an opportunity. They're, they're, they're kind of shaking up right now. They they completely underperformed. And you talk about burnout after what they did you know, after what they did in the regular season and then to go out the way they did. So I think it's a tough yeah. time. Bonte, I, I got to say something, though, because I do feel, uh, you know, with, with me and you both being on the show, both being black men, I got to I got to address this 707 because the 707 essentially has a problem with what Philmo Mike said and basically is saying if what Philmo Mike said about, you know, black and brown players, if he had said that about white people, there would be a problem. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I have no problem with what Philmo Mike said. It's okay to want people to look like you on a team that you root for. That's essentially all he said. So if you want to keep texting and, and be upset about what Philmo Mike said, that's fine. But all he said was, it's kind of cool to have people that look like me on a team. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong well, with that. Uh, it, it's nothing wrong with that. But also I think Philmo Mike was saying, look, Philmo Mike grew up in our era mm-hmm. where we watched the 89 Giants. We watched the 93 Giants. And yeah, Robbie Thompson and Will Clark and Matt Williams. I loved Matt Williams. Right. Hell, at one point, I loved Matt Williams more than Barry Bonds. Matt Williams was my guy, and he was white. I'm a black guy. But what the Giants represented was the city of San Francisco, a diverse community. You had Jose Arepe, all right? Later on, you had Jose Vizcaino. You had Darren Lewis in center field. Later on, you had Marvin Bernard, Mm -hmm. all right? You had your Kurt Manwarings. You had your Rod Becks. You had a who's who. That's what the Giants were. Now, there's been less and less black players playing the game of baseball. I understand all that. Period. But you look at the Giants, that hasn't been a total representation of San Francisco. So that's what Phil Mall Mike was saying. It's good to see a little bit of everything. Right. Some flavor. We haven't had no flavor really right. in this clubhouse and, in a while and, since Johnny Cueto. Exactly. And you know what? You know why it, it, it wouldn't be viewed as the same way if you said it the opposite way? Because you never have to say it. Right. Right. You wouldn't. Never. We would never. You're, you're, yep. you're, 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 uh, you're talking about a situation that you're never going to be in. Yep. So yep. it's a moot point. We but love Buster I, I had, Posey. I had to say right. something. We love Buster Posey, Brett Crawford, yeah, we they're love white. Everybody. Like, they're like, stop. Some you know, you grow up, us, you have you kids know. or whatever. Hey, I want to, you know, I, I love Ken Griffey Jr. Right. It's cool. There's nothing wrong with I that. I love Jay Buner. Exactly. <laughs> I, I follow <fired laughs> Jay Buner as well. And Edgar right. Martinez on Ken Griffey Jr. I, I, baseball. I don't care. If you're a baller, you're a baller. I'm going to love you. <laughs> don't care what color you are. Mm-hmm. Um. 510. By the way, Bonte, we all here at Area 51 Nevada actually listen to 9570 game all, all day, every day. We all Livermore employees that work here 70% of the time. Shout out Area 51. Shout out Area 51, Spado. We got aliens listen to us? We do. We are the dude, alien station. Dude, dude, UFOs, baby, tapped in. A lot, of, a lot of Giants fans on Mars, actually. UFOs got the Odyssey app downloaded. How sick is that? They're next level.